Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Wandering Gypsy Deb. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I convert my minivan camper that sleeps one person into a minivan camper that's going to sleep two. This is going to be interesting, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you all the variations that I came up with and my final variation that's going to work really, really good. So let's get started. I have three different ideas. So the first one I've actually done a few times. Sometimes my husband does travel with me. We might do a one night trip and we can do just a quick, easy idea to sleep in the van. Since my bed is only 31 inches wide and there's just no way two people can sleep in it. So the first way, I have done it a couple of times, but it's not all that comfortable. So let me show you what I've done. Idea number one, the front passenger seat reclined all the way. So let's get it reclined and see how it works. So we take the front seat and we recline it all the way back as far as it'll go not easy especially with this bed so let me put my hammer down and i'll be right back for some reason the seat won't go down all the way but you can get the idea front seat it's reclined i throw a pillow on it from my bed here we go, right there. I get in. And I lay down like this in the front seat. And I might get a couple hours sleep, but not very much. It's not the most comfortable. I think a child could sleep in this. I've seen someone else that I follow. Have their granddaughter sleep in this front seat, which I think would be great, but for me, not so great. So, on to the second idea. Idea number two was put my cooler in this spot here between the seats, right here, and get my trifold mattress. Which I used to have back there on my bed, the 25 inch wide by 75 inches long trifold mattress. So I was going to take maybe two of the cushions, put them across this way, and then sleep there. I've not tried that idea, but it's just not that wide. Maybe 50 or so inches, so I would be kind of squished up. So idea number two wasn't very ideal. All right, so we're gonna try idea number three. But first, let me tell you about my bed situation. It's 31 inches wide, which only leaves maybe 14 inches from the end of the bed, the edge of the bed to the wall. That would be about 48 inches. There's just no way two people can sleep in that small of an area unless you're thin, which I'm not, and neither is my husband. So here's the solution that I came up with. I have both of my front seats pushed all the way forward, as far as they'll go. All the way forward. So that actually leaves me some space down here. Look at that. Isn't 
going to get my tape measure. All right, here we go. We're going to do some measuring. I'm going to measure from the edge of this door to the edge of the other door, which is 66 inches wide. That's five feet six. I'm five feet three and a half. So I think this idea is going to work ideally. And then if I measure from the end of this bed, whoops, I measure from the end of the bed to the front seat, it's 24 inches wide, which my mattress is 25 inches. So, there's these pillars here, which I'm going to have to cut the mattress a little bit. That's six inches. That's six inches. I'm going to have to cut a little corner out on the edge there. And another corner to this edge right here. And then the mattress will come across this way and down and across. So let's get started on the modifications of the mattress and we'll see how it fits out here so we can get two people to sleep in this van. I'm so happy that I kept this Millard trifold mattress 25 inches wide and 75 inches long because we're going to use this for the project. And this is going to be bed number two. I am so excited. So are you ready? Let's get this done. I've drawn a template on a piece of paper with the dimensions of the trifold mattress. Each cushion is 25 inches square, and there's three, which brings the length to 75 inches. This next template shows where we have to cut off nine inches of the length on this mattress because the width of the van is only 66 inches. So that means nine inches has to go off of one end. And then you can also see where we have to cut those six inch pieces off for the pillars. The highlighted areas are the areas that we have to cut off and remove to modify the mattress to fit behind the front seats. Let's get our tools together and get this project started. Our tools will include a yardstick, a black Sharpie marker, a pair of scissors, an electric carving knife, or a serrated bread knife. I already had the mattress cut, so I'm going to do a fake demonstration here of what I did to make the modifications. First, we unzip the cover off of one end. We will then cut the cover that's over top of the foam with our scissors. So this way we can get to the foam to cut it. So we'll carefully cut the fabric here, the cover, all the way across. Being careful not to cut the foam. And there we go. Now we're going to peel this cover back. It's kind of like a thick cheesecloth type of fabric. We will then take our yardstick. And 
then we are going to measure the nine inches that we're going to be cutting off of the end with the yardstick and using the Sharpie marker to make the nine inch marks so we can make an even cut. So we'll measure nine inches here. Get our Sharpie marker. Make a mark right there. Measure again, make a mark. And measure nine inches again and make a mark. Then we'll take our yardstick, line them up to the marks, and draw a line all the way across. Then we're going to measure six inches for that cutout for the pillar. Six inches across, and another six inches across that way. And that'll be where we're going to cut this way across, down six inches, and then back across the width of the mattress foam. We're then going to take our carving knife and make the cuts. Doing one cut like that will allow us to put this back together if we need to. Next, we take out our electric carving knife, which will go through this foam like butter. If you don't have one, you can use a bread knife or any type of serrated knife. So there's the blades. There's the knife. We have the foam completely out of the cover. And this is how we're going to cut it with the electric knife. I'm going to turn this around so you can see my markings. I actually already have this cut, so we're going to just have a pretend cutting. Take the knife and cut this six inch part right here. Pull the knife out. And then we're going to flip this around and cut this section here all the way down to here. And then turn it, pull this up, and we're going to cut this part here all the way down. And there we go. And we're going to take this cover and try to get this back on. Whatever you do, make sure you keep looking at your diagram and cut the proper corner and side. You definitely don't want it discombobulated. So now we're going to zip the outside cover back up. Let's get this lining situated here first. Get it tucked in. Get this zipped up, and then we're going to work on the other side. I am not going to show you cutting the other side, but you get the drift from my first demonstration. Once we get this out in the van, we're going to tuck this extra fabric underneath like this. And once that's tucked under, it will fit a lot better out in the van. All right, so we're going to take this cover off and we're going to cut the inside cover so we can get the foam out to cut that one corner off for the pillar. After we get the 
liner cut we're going to pull it back to expose the foam and then we're going to measure six inches on each side of this corner to cut off Okay, we're going to continue marking six inches from the edge in this other direction. Once we get that marked, we are going to draw lines connecting the dots. One in that direction and another in this direction. And then we will take our electric knife once we put the foam on the side, like before and cut that corner piece out and we're all set for that one go ahead and put that lining back on and the cover let's tuck this in best we can i'm not going to sew this because I'm leaving the option open to be able to put that foam back in if I need to use this mattress again. So this is just a temporary fix. Here are the pieces that we cut out, which I'm going to set these aside for later in case I ever need to use the mattress. All right, we're out in the van with the cushion. We're going to get it into place and see how it fits. It's a little hard getting in here. It is a tight fit. Get this pushed forward. Get this cushion pushed into the cover the best I can. Get the fabric tucked under. Make some adjustments here. And there we go. I had to get this unzipped to get it pushed in all the way. But like I said before, I wasn't going to sew the cover or make any permanent alterations because I want to be able to use this mattress later. Just in case I have company or something, they can sleep on this. And I don't want parts of it missing. All right, I'm going to go around to the other side and pull it in a little bit better. All right, I got it. Tuck this under. And I think it's going to work. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is that six inch cut that we made to fit into the pillar. It is a tight fit to the end. And we're going to get in and try it out. I'm going to put this smaller pillow down here, which won't take up so much room. Squeeze down in here. Hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I think this is going to work out well. My feet just hit the other side of the van wall. Let me show you. But I'm a side sleeper. So, with that being said, I'm, I'm going to fit here just perfectly. This is going to be a game changer for when my husband and I go on overnight trips. 
I won't have to pack his tent gear. We can just sleep in the van. Perfect. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you've gotten something out of it. I hope that it's helpful to someone, and that you'll be able to sleep two people in your minivan on a trip. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.